you know, they're pretty much going to have to do a media embargo on Megan. I think they're going to, they're going to have to, they're going to have to pull, Harry, you're going to have to pull out a Wi-Fi. You're going to have to pull out the router before you leave for your trip on the plane, hun, because she is not going to be able to resist sticking some photos up and attracting attention. So you're going to have to get rid of that Wi-Fi or, or change the password on a phone. No, you can't because it's all face ID now, isn't it? You're going to have to take her phone with you, Harry. Take her phone with you. Hi, I put up a post in the community asking people how they think Harry and Meghan will manage to disrupt the coronation. Now, this morning I woke up to the news that Harry's coming and Meghan's not coming. She's going to stay back in Montecito with Archie for his birthday at Lilybed. You know, I think she must be very grateful that they made the coronation on the same day as Archie's birthday because it gave her a way out, didn't it? To not have to face the crowds, face the boos, face the looks and the derision from everybody. So don't think there's many people left in the UK that like her very much. I have that feeling. There's not a lot of good feeling there. So Harry's coming. And it doesn't really make this irrelevant what you said, or I've got so many comments, I'm going to read you some of them, because all we're going to do is we've got to imagine Harry here, you know, in the UK at the coronation and Megan back home at Montecito. So they can still do the things that you say, just imagine that they're split up doing them separately, okay? So I'm going to read you some of the comments. Now, I've sorted them by top comments, so the ones that got the most thumbs up I'm sort of reading first because I can't read out all of them. So um, Rosemary Hinchcliffe said, by announcing they've split up and it's all the fault of the royal family and the nasty public, but then just as we get our hopes up, they'll reconcile. It's a good one. Just Me says, they'll bring Archie to the coronation wearing a big button that reads birthday person. <laughs> Oh, well, I wonder if there'll be a photo of Archie with a big button and a hat and the whole thing released in the middle of the coronation. Lucinda Campbell says, Megan will announce that she's won a Mother of the Year award and Harry will get arrested in a drug bust. Well, it's possible. I mean, he is flying in, isn't he? Um, Megan will announce that she's won a Mother of the Year Award. Don't you mean Megan will announce that she's paid for a Mother of the Year Award? Uh, Jenny Boo says, Harry and Gail King, co-anchors narrating the coronation on TV. Well, we now know, Jenny Boo, that he's actually coming. So <gasps> do you think Megan will narrate with Gail King? Oh, I hope not. I mean, they're saying she's staying at home with the children, but you never know, do you? Rolling Stone says, announce the release date of a new book, throw a who's who of invitees to a birthday party and release new photos. Or maybe they'll just pull their coughed heads in and stay quiet. Well, we can only hope can't be Rolling Stone. We can only hope. <laughs> Anne-Marie Jones says, Meghan Markle with H by her side will announce her candidacy for the 2024 US presidential election in front of a cheering renter crowd. Well, that could still happen. It's just that H will be over here. Alicia B says, I expect they will release a number of photos of their children using Archie's birthday as the excuse. They will bow out of gatherings with an announcement to the media for the same reason. They'll do their best to keep all eyes on them. Yeah, I'm sure they will release photos. That seems to be their MO, doesn't it? Release photos right in the middle of a really special moment for the royal family. Talking about photos of the children. I have to say that if there are any children, <laughs> that they are very scarce, aren't they? And 
they must be aware of the rumours and the conjecture about the fact that they're, that are there really any, they must be aware of it. So why don't they just put it all to rest by releasing some recent photos? And that's very interesting, that comment that you just said. Because Hello Magazine released an Easter thing on them. It might have been only online, an article online for Hello Magazine. But for Easter 2023, and honestly, it was embarrassing. It was this beat up fluff piece about them celebrating Easter. And they had old photos from when they came over for the Queen's Jubilee of Lily Bet, love her first birthday. And the other things they had were screen grabs from the doco, from the documentary, just screen grabs of Archie. And Harry with that thing with the, you know, when he took Archie on top of the suitcase and were wheeling it along. It was really strange. And they were presenting this article as if it was like updated information about the Sussexes and how they're spending Easter with these photos that were two years old. It was really strange. And you would think that if they're going to take the prince and princess title for the children as their birthright, you would think that as part of that, to be a prince and princess of the United Kingdom, you would think that they would have an obligation to release at least, say, one official photo every six months of the United Kingdom's prince and princess, wouldn't you? I mean, wouldn't you do that? Gabrielle Rose says, by driving around Montecito in a golden carriage with their royal children, followed by one paparazzo on a moped. <laughs> oh, I can just see it. I can just see it. That's funny. So how do you think it's going to go with Harry? Do you think we're even going to really see him or is he going to be arriving on a bus with a whole lot of other secondary royals and then just sitting in a pew? Um, yeah, I wonder how it's going to go or whether they're going to actually give him his proper spot in the hierarchy, not as a working royal, but as a prince of the realm. So I'll read out a few more comments. Oh, Julie B was very perceptive. Get this one. Harry will go solo. Meghan will have a birthday party for Archie and People Magazine will get the exclusive photos or she will announce something or she'll be out and about at a charity wearing hundreds of thousands. I wish I was being sarcastic. Well, Julie B, that's actually the closest to accurate that I've read so far because now we've got the news that she's not coming. So that could be very accurate. I feel very relieved by the whole thing that it's just Harry. But he's still going to distract because, of course, is the camera going to go in on his sad, angry, resentful, jealous, spiteful little face? at the coronation. We will have to wait and see. Thank you so much for the comments. There was a couple of hundred of them and they were really, really funny. And I should have got onto the video a little quicker before they announced that it's just Harry coming. I'll see you again very soon. Bye.